solving the brine problem is, is like making lead from gold. It's almost impossible. We're totally changing the whole philosophy on uh, uh, environmentally sustainable development. The problem is sim simply a, a existing problem which we have to solve and uh, I think we as Red Sea Company with our aspiration of uh, being uh, top in, in sustainability uh, we, we can do we can not only set standards but we can do our best to to contribute to this uh, idea. Considering that this is a very complicated topic and it is very important to address it, I'm impressed that we got 120 uh, submissions. And when we look at this top uh, five who presented here today, I'm impressed by the content, but also how they presented. This gives me a lot of hope for the future with these young generations. There is a huge uh, lack of drinking water in the world, so reversal osmosis is a really uh, promising technology for that. But unfortunately, we have the brine, so and we need to deal with it. And the brine can have a huge impact if we still uh, keep managing the brine in the old-fashioned way. That is just discharged to the sea, and we need to, to protect the sea, the sea water life. Uh, my entry was using brine to save the Dead Sea. Uh, the main concept is that we generate a lot of brine in Saudi Arabia and the, in massive amounts that could be used in a more beneficial way, straight as it is, without further treatment, just by pumping it all the way from Saudi through a pipeline to the Dead Sea, uh, where we would hopefully help uh, restore the current level of the Dead Sea, which is diminishing over time. It's always better to use the already existing technologies, so you don't have to uh, deal with what will happen if it doesn't work or something like that. So it's just uh, gathering together already used ideas for the production of these chemicals and also the fact that we don't have them in uh, the Middle East, so all these chemicals, so uh, we will be avoiding all transportation issues. And at the end we, we decided to work and to, to stay with this uh, idea of molding with brine because we think it's a really sustainable way to, to deal with the brine. I was very impressed by the presentations. It's unbelievable that such young people can give presentations like this. I was actually amazed at the, the, the color of each of the, uh, the presentations and uh, the, the passion. It was exciting to see how many of them were, were, were students and were the next generation and how they, they were so excited to be helping solve really challenging societal problems. It was a very hard choice because the quality of all the presentations was very high. And after a tough discussion, we were able to make uh, some decisions. After winning the competition, I feel so great. It's, it's marvelous. I have never won a competition <laughs> before, so it's actually really nice to know that. We are really, really excited because we are a team. And yeah, we put a lot of effort in this idea and we were working together. And it was really amazing to bring people from many different places. And now we could manage to, to have this good idea that, that then was uh, one of the winners. It feels great. I feel like I did my team justice uh, because I was sent here to represent them and their ideas. So it feels wonderful. Mm -hmm.